7 plus 12 plus 71. Those are the three first terms of our arithmetic series. The first question, 2.1.1, we want to determine the value of T91. We know that for an arithmetic series, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. Where A is the first term, D is the common difference, and N is the position of the term we're interested in. N is equal to 91 in our case. So we have N being equal to 91 because we are looking for T91. A is the first term of which in our situation is equal to 7. So all we need to do is to find the common difference. How do we do that? T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2. The difference between any two terms following each other. So if we say D is equal to T2 minus T1, we're going to have 12 minus 7, which is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and substitute on Tn. We're going to have T91 being equal to A, which is 7, plus N minus 1, 91 minus 1, multiplied by the common difference, which is 5. So we have 90 multiplied by 5 plus 7, which is equal to 457. So we have 457 as the value of T91. 2.1.2 2 .2, on the other hand, we want to calculate the sum of the first 91 terms. There's a formula for that. The sum is given by n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. n is the number of terms. a is the first term. n, we've already <laughs> answered that. And d is the common difference. So let's go ahead and substitute. Uh, quite an easy one, to be honest. 2 marks. Um, so this will be equals to 91 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by a, which happens to be 7, the first term, plus n minus 1. So that will be 91 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference, which is 5. If you put this in your calculator, you're going to get 21,112. That is 2.1.2. Let's go ahead and do 2.1.3. Calculate the value of n for which tn is equal to 517. Well, tn, we know that uh, that is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. It is apparently equal to 517. We want to find n. Well, we have a, the first term, we have the difference and the value. It will be easy to find n. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have 7 plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference being equal to 517. So let me substitute the difference. Why am I saying the difference again? The difference is 5. That is the difference. So we're going to have 5n minus 5 being equal to 517 minus 7. I'm taking 7 to the right hand side and the multiply in n minus 1 by 5. If we take minus 5 to the right hand side, we're going to get 5n being equal to 510 plus 5. So 5n is equal to 515. If we divide both sides by 5, we shall get n is equal to 103. So that is 2.1.1 to 2.1.3. Let's go ahead and take a look at 2.2 and 2.2.1. So 2.2, quite an interesting one, but there ain't nothing to it but uh, to do it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the following information is given about a quadratic number pattern. T1 is equal to 3. T2 minus T1 is equal to 9. T3 minus T2 is equal to 21. So let's go ahead and make sense of that. So T1, T2, and T3. T2 minus T1 is 9. And T3 minus T2 is 21. 
21 minus 9 is 12, right? But we have the value of T1. So instead of putting T1 there, let's put 3. We know that T1 is equal to 3. Uh, let's hear the stories. 2.2.1, let's show that T5 is equal to 111. 12 is our second common difference, right? So we also have 12 right here. 9 plus 12 gave us 21. What is 21 plus 12? 21 plus 12 is 33. So 33 plus T3, <coughs> 33 plus T3 should give us T4. But we don't know T2 and T3. Let's find out what is the value of T2 first. 3 plus 9 should give us T2. So 3 plus 9 is 12. So that is the value of T2. And then 21 plus 12 should give us T3. So 21 plus 12 is 33. So T3 is 33. On the other hand, 33 plus 33 should give us T4. That is 66. And then 12 plus 33, that will give us 45. Uh, yeah, I think it will give us uh, 45. And then 45 plus 66 should give us T5. So 6, 6, 4, 5, 1, carry 1, 1, 1, 1. So indeed, T5 is equal to 111. Uh, we have showed that. Right, let's move to 2.2.2. Show that the general term of the quadratic pattern is Tn is equal to 6n squared minus 9n plus 6. Actually, when you are answering 2.2.1, it's very much possible that you find Tn first and then be able to find T5. I don't know what's going to happen to the mark allocation if you find Tn in 2.2.1. But anyway, let's go ahead and show that Tn is equal to 6n squared minus 9n plus 6. So 2a is equal to 12. Well, we know that. We know that fully well. And then 3a plus b is equal to 9. And then a plus, a plus b plus c will be equal to 3. If you want to know how that comes about, I've actually proved it in a separate video. You can go on the channel and find that video and see how it comes about. So if 2a is equal to 12, it is easy to see that a is equal to 6. And then 3a plus b is equal to 9. b will be equal to 9 minus 3 multiplied by a. a is 6. So what is 6 multiplied by 3? 6, 12, 18. 9 minus 18 is minus 9. So we have A, we have B. Let's go ahead and find C. A plus B plus C is equal to 3. So C will be equal to 3 minus A, which is 6, minus B, which is minus 9. So we have 3 minus 6, which will give us minus 3. And then minus 3 minus minus 9 will give us plus Six. So Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. A is 6. So 6n squared plus Bn minus 9n plus C, which is 6. So that is the quadratic pattern. 2.2.3 show that the pattern is increasing for all n element of natural numbers right so 2.2.3 hmm i'm not quite sure which approach we're supposed to take uh, but let me show you what i need uh, i know that tn is equal to 6n squared minus 9n plus 6 if we derivate this we're gonna get 12n minus n using the power rule so the first derivative will give you the equation for the gradient. So when is the gradient positive? That is the same as saying when is 12n minus 9 greater than 0. That's what you're trying to figure out. 12n minus 9 is greater than 0 when 12n is greater than 9. 
that is when n is greater than 9 divided by 12. Natural numbers is 1, 2, 3, so on and so on. As you can clearly see, all natural numbers are greater than 9 divided by 12. So when n is an element of natural numbers, our gradient is positive. The quadratic pattern is increasing. That is how I'm interpreting the question. I wonder how you solved it. Please just drop a comment and let me know.